Hello, everyone, uh, and welcome to another edition of the India InsureTech podcast. Uh, today, we have with us uh, Kedar, who leads uh, insurance solutions at uh, Axiom Digital. Uh, hi, Kedar. Uh, welcome to this uh, edition of the India InsureTech podcast. Yeah. Hi, uh, Prashant. Thank you very much for uh, you know uh, letting us this opportunity to speak on the Ins- India InsureTech Association, and thank you, India InsureTech Association. to you as well thank you so much perfect uh, we will get right into it and i wanted to begin by asking you a little bit about uh, what you do uh, what your company does what are the core problems you're solving and what is your role in the company yeah uh, so uh, i work for a company called axion digital which is a us based organization uh, which has been in the industry uh, for a couple of decades uh, with uh, Axion Digital in India, we are relatively new, right? Uh, for Axion Digital, uh, we have three main areas where we are focusing on. One is, one is insurance, which I am currently leading. Uh, as uh, you know, in in um, dual terms, one is the technical advisory part that we do for Axion Digital in the insurance space, and the other part that I am also taking care of is the solutions, right? Uh, we also have focus on. Uh, other other two things which is one is manufacturing along with insurance and we also want to get into you know uh, the medical part of it so we also uh, are focusing on these three areas uh, uh, in both the technical advisory and solutions so kind of interesting uh, interesting market and interesting uh, uh, solutions that you're providing uh, so from what i've understood in insurance you have two verticals there's technical cons- technical advisory and there's insurance solutions I wanted to ask you, uh, you know, who are your end customers, and what results are you trying to achieve for them uh, with providing the advisory or technical advisory or providing insurance solutions? Yes. So, uh, as you rightly said, right, two parts. One is the technical advisory, and uh, the other one is the solutions, which is completely focused on the insurance industry. So, uh, through our technical advisory, having spent a good amount of time. you know me and my colleagues who have been working uh, on the technological front and also uh, delving into the insurance space for a number of years we understand the problems that generally the insurers and the overall you know ecosystem of insurance faces right it could be in the form of the mgas it could be in the form of brokers it could be again customers right not to ignore or the different uh, distribution channels right it could be bank assurance or you know the agency forces that are there so we understand how this ecosystem works and through technological uh, know how we are trying to you know uh, understand and solve the problems there and add value the second part which is the solution uh, where we are again looking at a specific problem and then solving it through a pre built solution uh, addressing uh, and adding value there as well Understood. Okay, and and as a result of this, uh, what are the uh, what are the areas you're trying to impact? Are you going to be helping with this solution? Are you going to be helping them uh, in product management, in underwriting, in in increasing their sales? How is it? Which uh, what are the what are the impacts going to be? Sure. So currently, uh, on the solution part, we are completely fro- uh, focused on the new product development, right? uh the to be very very specific about what we are doing we are trying to build a solution which is a product configurator you know uh, what we have seen is uh, you know uh, prashant the thing is like uh, currently the insurance space is growing day by day i mean i'm i'm sure you would agree with me and all the people who are watching this podcast would certainly agree with me that insurance is growing right it's it's growing uh, though it has been a laggard uh, you know uh, in, in in the technological adoption and as you can see the technology is growing faster you know it's getting mature day by day so what we see is uh, you know typically the new product development part that i'm talking about in the form of a product configurator has a lot of value in the entire uh, you know uh, game of the insurance right uh, it helps insurers to roll out products faster right and we also have seen that uh, when you do a new product it is a it's a it's a very big activity right there there are a lot of teams which work in synchronization for the rolling out of the product 
so what we are also seeing as a challenge is to have that coordination uh, you know to work efficiently to roll out that product so there is a lot of effort and time and of course the cost included in that which is uh, required to roll out a product right so we are trying to help through this product configurator to minimize the efforts you know and the time and obviously the cost also as a end result is minimized and Understood. it ensures a faster go to market for any uh, you know new rollouts of the products got it okay so uh, so what i've understood as a summary is that you're directly targeting insurance co- insurance companies uh, you're trying to create a product configurator which will connect all the id systems of, of an insurer through which they will be able to file products faster hence you know uh, uh, you know hence the growth of the company uh, by by way of sales and more efficiency uh, i'd love if you can take us through maybe a a case or two uh in your experience that you've seen uh which would be an ideal case scenario for uh, accent digital right so uh you know uh, uh, let me give you an uh, a use case where it's uh, you know typically taking a life insurance because life insurance uh, products are slightly complicated right so if we take an example of life insurance as a product uh, we have seen that uh, you know it takes again uh, uh it you know technology has evolved over a period of time nobody can deny that and there are multiple systems where the product definition needs to be rewritten all the time right so if you typically take an example of uh, a, a new product that has to be rolled out for their front end systems their you know middlewares as we call it for their policy tracking etc etc or for their underwriting systems and then there is a piece which is basically for the policy administration which is the back end system you know if if we just try to broadly categorize uh, in three different systems but even if we say that they are broadly categorized as three different systems there are a lot of underlying uh, systems and applications which need this product definitions right now what happens is because we have this product configurator lying as a centralized application it becomes very very easy for uh, a new uh, product to be launched into these different systems you know that that is what uh, the typical use case is uh, in in uh, rolling out the new products right the second use case is where uh, you would agree that every other day uh, the distribution channels are redefined or you know new distribution channels are onboarded into the system now because uh, of the product configurator that i was talking about as a as a solution or as a, as an idea or as a concept what happens is uh because this has a ability to interface with any new entity that is onboarded in the form of a new distribution channel right uh roll out again to this new distribution channel becomes much more easier you know mm. so the so there are there are two things to it uh, when i tie these two different use cases there are two things to it one is the actual systems which are underlying systems which people are using the insurers are using for their day to day business for the new uh, business uh, product rollout they are being catered right and secondly the new distribution channels which are being onboarded every now and then that is also eased out sounds sounds amazing i think i think kedar i think this is a really uh, interesting problem you're going after and uh, i'd love to wish you uh, our best from the india insurance association it was great having you on this podcast and i'm sure our insurance partners will be watching this and uh will will perhaps uh gain gain some insights from what to talk from uh, the problem you're going after and the solutions that you're uh, uh you know bringing in the market thank you so much again for your time kedar and uh, uh we wish you the best from our side thank you very much prashant again uh, thanks a lot india insurtech association thank you so much